huh, I didn't realize that if you just fell off the ledge there that you would go to the Bastion, which is going to be kind now of a Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. <laughs> Okay, I have to stop doing that. <laughs> it's just way too entertaining. We talk for spell. I was hoping the narrator would comment on me doing that, but nope. Afraid not. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there. Then watch. I try to let the kid down gently. This is the Bastion, all right. Except no one else showed up. Okay, thank you, stranger. I could have sworn he had a name. That might be revealed uh, later Just on. Just like that, the Bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Kid's gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Over here, I am going to build. Kid ponders what to build. And then after that, I'm gonna build an arsenal. But for now, Next though, time I have spirits available. Spirits from my personal supply. Hmm. Cinder brick stout, plus 33% speed while defending. Spicy, nutty flavors and a dry aftertaste. Very heavy and filling. I like what this does, but. In action RPGs, I tend to spend more of my time dodge rolling or evading when I can rather than blocking, just because I find it to be more effective. 100% um, critical hit chance, active only when below 33% health. Again, it's that sweet spot that isn't doing it for me. Um, nothing too appealing here. I guess I will go with uh, the Squirt Cider. Squirt cider will toughen you right up. Too bad about the musty aftertaste. And I saw the kid. Bow, don't right? know what's out there waiting for him. I should. Yeah, I didn't the switch up. Uh, away from now the bow the at the armory. Ride the wind so I'm going to land. go up here to the breaker barracks, to the proving ground. Here, the breakers once honed their skills and focus with their bows, and I'm gonna get a little mini game up here. The Breakers used to come here for target practice. Used to play a little game. See who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. He's focused. He's armed. So and he's the goal off. here is to line the shot up so that you hit as many as possible at once. Pretty much to be as arrow efficient as possible when you do this. On, select the right one. Come on. There we go. And I should pop these three right now. Nope, didn't get that one. The perfect shot just happens in a flash. Damn it. Oh, this isn't going well. So hopefully, within the next four shots, I get this. Should be two for these. Oh, and then there's the one where I warped in. Fuck. That's not good. Oh, wow, this is going terribly. This actually went better the first time I did it. The first time I did this, I did it in 11 shots and only got the first place prize. Kid ain't done bad at all. Which is something stringy. Another upgrade material for the bow that we got earlier on. Um, I will be. I'll be back here eventually. But for now, we have better places to be.
He returns with some of the materials we need. And now I'm off to the workmen ward where I'm gonna get another core for the bastion. Now he lands at the Oops. intersection between bad and wrong. It's funny that he mentions that because Ought the be narrator kind of reminds of me from a, of the Old West narrator one? from the uh, Eminem's first big commercial album Some from the song uh, still When Bad Meets Evil. City's own trash. Ah, fuck, I hate these things. But plenty of healing and potions. There he is, and doesn't really the oldest scumbag of them all. Gershel. Gershel the scumbag. Fuck, I really should have with that first. Matter of fact, he's just gonna go ahead and come over to me anyway. Ah. Keeps telling himself he better watch his step. They always said old Gershel wouldn't go without a fight. One thing that's interesting about Bastion as an action RPG as opposed to um most others is that the rest of the path is gone for the good. tells that the enemies and give before they attack doesn't seem to be back. quite no as core, obvious in this. No surprise. Likely gas. Granted, they still have tells. Him. He heads for the squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. <laughs> Kid ain't ever seen an elephant squirt before. Hopes he'll never see one again. What? They That's say not true. even the most I'd love to see another squirts elephant squirt. Tame. They're adorable. I mean, keep one as a pet no right sign now. of the core here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. You see? My pet. He's friendly. I will name him Mervyn. Mervyn the Squirt. Why the hell did I pick Mervyn? Fuck that. Your name is Philip now. If you disagree, I'll beat you. Them squirts just don't know when to quit. No, they don't. I already enslaved one of them. Up north is where the gas fella foreman used to live. Tending to his flock. Oh no, not the gas fella foreman. Gas fellas all dress alike. Kids wondering the same thing. A memento, a soiled garment like the gas fellas wear. Gas fellas used to tend the mines, but now are storming the remains of Ceylondia in alarming numbers. But for what? I don't know. It's a good question. Maybe they're trying to unionize. And there it is. But it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. A blustery old and here is why in check. I Almost like he's was talking about using crowd. ranged weapons more. Because these things just pop you up whenever you get close to them, and that's pretty fucking annoying. So, come on over to me. Come on. Oh, he's attacking Mervyn. I mean, Philip. Philip. No! God damn it, Philip. And now there's a new marshal in town. And the Dixers. He hears the whole place groan, but it's too tough to fall. Might as well check the other side streets before leaving this hole. That is a good point, narrator. I was gonna do that anyway because I think somewhere around here there is an, a new weapon. He heads for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge.
that is actually even mashier than the hammer. Oh, fuck you. Actually, reaches a lot farther than I thought it did. Inside the forge, Key can fine tune those instruments of his. Let me go ahead and upgrade my hammer for the very first time. And Kids lifelong friends damage. looking fit awesome. to keep on fighting. And I can swap this around. And that unlocks the first tier of upgrades. You can have one side or the other here. And then it's going to take another 500 to get down here and 750 here. And as per my bow, I can get plus two target penetrations per shot, or I can get more draw speed. And I'm going to go with the target With a good length of Miska, Especially that bow's like of, new uh, again. Especially because of the minigame. So that should help me out a little bit more with that. Odd place to find the likes of Percy the Snitch. That looks like the main character from Braid. I'm not... Maybe it is, huh? Never well, much care for that big wide grin of his. Die! Die! I keep underrating the bow. I... Oh man, it does so much damage. Wow, that is impressive. That's something else, huh? And that's gonna be an upgrade material for the weapon that I should find somewhere around here. I hate to do all this backtracking in this level, but I really want to find that again. And this is just continuing the theme of me doing worse my second time through this part of the game than my first. Oh, here it is. Maybe? Maybe? Yes! How did I not notice something with a giant blue arrow anything. over it? Except for this. It's quick for <laughs> slicing <laughs> and light enough to throw. Kid's ready to go, and his ticket out's right where it started. And it can be thrown. It's pretty cool. And I get it back. Let me just go ahead and recharge at the fountain. And we are all good to go. <clears throat> he comes back, just like I knew he would. The core hums in his pack, the monument's calling for it. Kid does it again, only fair he decides what we build next. The windbags used to be alright, then the calamity took the floor out from under him. Okay, that doesn't really tell me much about him. I can build a forge or an arsenal. Forge will let me upgrade my items, I believe. Yep. And then the arsenal you saw earlier will let me swap things out. And I want to do that right now because I want to go back to my hammer, which I just recently upgraded. So I guess the forge will the be the next thing place I do. Peace, but also, we I want to go back to the old we world. Have to. And you notice I got the mirror shield now, but I'm not going to be using that just yet. And back to whirlwind. Ain't much kid can't handle with hammer and bow in hand. And now it's time to set off for the next location. Picked up traces of other cores while the kid was out. Hmm. The melting pot. That is an area I've cleared, as is that. So I have the melting pot I can go to, or I can go down the sundown path. And, let's see, I think I will go for the melting pot next, but I've probably run long already, so I'm going to be breaking this recording up into multiple parts, and starting the next episode in the melting pot when we return. So, until then, take it easy.